A week and a half, I lost about five pounds. I'm about to put it all back on now. Akasha was giving me a hard time saying I should get organic, and she was telling me about the Dirty Dozen, which I know. Is that deceitful? I don't think so. We're about to try it. Let's, let's try it, see what happens. That didn't go the way that it was supposed to go. Okay, I am. Um, I left McDonald's and I couldn't get out of there any faster. That place was so cold. I was freezing the whole time. I'm at. Oh, by the way, you guys, I lost five pounds strategically tracking sugars, not for weight loss reasons, but for health reasons. For like a week and a half, I lost about five pounds. I'm about to put it all back on now, April 1st. So yeah, um, me, everybody knows your calories don't count though when there's a special occasion, those calories disappear. So basically, I'm not gonna get back on this scale until like Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Anyways, we're at Walmart now, just picking up some snacks that we'll be eating for the weekends. I don't know what I showed you that I bought, but I'll show you what I have. I got two stalks of celery. It was for $184, and it wasn't the organic one. The last time I went to Trader Joe's, because that's usually where I get it from, because it's close to my house, um, the lady told me, she, like the lady at the cashier was giving me a hard time saying I should get organic, and she was telling me about the Dirty Dozen, which I know celery is one of the ones on that list. Um, for being like one of the filthiest vegetables in the world but I told her like I cleaned mine in, in vinegar and stuff and she was saying yeah like it's in the DNA blah 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 so she guilted me into getting the organic although I didn't pick it up that day I said I would again so while I was here at Walmart I said well since that lady made me feel bad about getting regular celery at Trader Joe's let me just get some organic here Walmart tried me they tried it Walmart was trying to charge almost four dollars for their organic celery, bruh. At Trader Joe's is two fifty, so I'm just gonna go back to Trader Joe's and just start getting the organic one there. <laughs> and I just got the regular one here, so this is probably the last of my regular celery for a while, unless I'm like extra extra broke. No, I'm not gonna claim that in Jesus' name. Um. I got some ranch sunflower seeds. I got this new flavor, Rebel ice cream. Cookies and cream, I love cookies and cream. I love Rebel, so I'm going to see how that tastes. Favorite chocolate, Whoppers. And I got the Symphony chocolates. And I picked up some Raisinets. These are for Xavier though, since he's having his cravings. 
He always has a new craving every week, but this is his recent one. He couldn't find it at any of the Walmarts, so he's gonna be very excited when he finds out that I, I'm surprising him with these. I think I might, I think I might go to back home first before I head out because I don't want the ice cream to melt and I don't want my chocolate to melt because it's like 92, 90 degrees out here, 92. I'm 92, 93 degrees outside right now. So I might take it home so they don't perish. And then I'll head back out on the road because we have to donate clothes. Um, I might stop at the Dollar Tree right now, but I have to go and donate clothes. And I have to pick up vinegar at Presidente because the you can get the bigger things of um, vinegar um, for way cheaper or any other supermarket that I go to. So I'm going to pick that up. And I'm going to go to Denny's too so I can get my free breakfast. <laughs> I'm at Denny's now. I don't want to sit and stay in here but apparently in order to get the free meal you have to eat here so what i'm thinking is getting the food right and then asking to go right afterwards is that deceitful i don't think so we're about to try it let's let's try it see what happens Beautiful. Um, can I just get a water with no ice, please? Water, no ice. Um, today is also my birthday, so I was wondering if I can get like that, the breakfast. Happy birthday! Did you uh, do you have the uh, the thing online? Um, I had to get a, a code or something. Yes, and it's not too late. Just register online, put your information, your email. They're gonna send you a link. I believe it's gonna be the Everyday Value Scam. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure. I'll double check with the manager and I'll send that one in. So when you get the link, we can just do right out. Okay. okay. And right. I can also order some pancakes too. Some pancakes? Yeah. With the everyday stand, it comes with either pancakes, French toast, or the same gravy. It comes with two eggs, scrambled, or however you like it. Um, two meats, bacon and sausage, two strips, so two legs. Okay. And yeah, that's, it doesn't come with hash browns. Oh, no hash browns. Yeah, but it does come if you want the pancake, you can get the pancake with it, but you just won't do the hash browns. So yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so I, can I get that meal and then some additional stuff then? Yeah, most okay. definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to give you another minute. Let me find out which one the birthday one usually is. Okay. And I'll put and that I'll, And you still okay. go on the website now and... Yeah, the Denny's, um, and then Denny's register. com and register with your birthday. Make sure it's the date. Okay. Okay. And um, you should get the confirmation code in there in your email. All right. Thank, All right. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. That didn't go the way that it was supposed to go. Apparently now they don't just take your ID. You have to get a code in your email. All of my Denny's emails, although I'm registered to them, have been going into my spam over the years. I did not get any discounts. So I signed up again with two different emails while I was sitting there and still nothing came through. I had to ask, I had to call their customer service line so they can resend the code to my email. Or I wouldn't say resend, it was definitely send because I didn't get it in any of the three emails, or at least two. I couldn't get into one of my emails because verification has it being sent to my other phone. That's a whole nother story. But um, basically, the code never came through, so I couldn't get the breakfast. And I had to tell the lady to take it back because the only reason. I came here was to get free breakfast like it defeated the whole purpose of you know what I mean so anyways I did buy myself some hash browns I uh, got um, the Chicana breakfast thing I was planning on eating this anyways buying this anyways alongside with the free breakfast but I'll probably I'm saving this for like tomorrow morning and tonight I'm gonna eat like pizza I think and pizza roll. oh my god the sneeze I have pizza rolls, pizza and pizza rolls for dinner tonight, but that sucks. Denny's, they really let me down. The last time I ordered from them, not the last time, but the time before that I ordered from them, they left out, like, I think my french fries, and they tried to gaslight me and make it seem like I didn't know what I was talking about, like, I didn't, like... I didn't get like I got my whole meal but they'll still refund me and stuff and I had to go all the way to their location again they had to pay me in cash for the french fries they left out of my order <sighs> and I don't know I feel like Denny's Denny's is like not very updated I'll tell you that like they're like way behind times when it comes to a lot of this stuff 
So they like simple things like issuing refunds or just like this. They're always having difficulty with the rewards and stuff is like it's so backwards like they're just they're definitely behind on like everything when it comes to technology and stuff and there's so much glitches in their system their website is terrible and I feel like in 2023 like there's no reason why your website should be that bad when people when everyone's ordering food online and stuff um, signing in is a hassle and I don't know it's just it's just a lot of stuff um hold on hello hey what is up no, where are you? Oh, I'm, I came to Denny's to attempt to get a free breakfast. That didn't work out very well because they changed the rules, but um, I'm going to donate some clothes and then I'll be on my way home. You just got home? Yeah, it's, like 10 minutes ago. Um, two hours to get home. Two hours? Sheesh. Yes. I got off the highway before the detour, and there was even more traffic. Um, yeah, I'm here. Okay. I'm check on you, see where you were at and stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop these clothes off, and then I'm gonna head home. All right. See you soon. All right. See you soon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot you guys yeah. were so I the results, but I you, guys, you guys, you guys, sorry, bye. <laughs> There was something I wanted to tell you guys, which is very important, at least for me. I didn't know this until recently. My bestie told me that when you pay, when you tip someone at a restaurant, a waitress or whatever, at a 